All right. Um, good morning, everybody. So, um, so we are Vedantic Group. Today, we will present to you um, our problem statement and the solution for that problem statement for star 9999. Uh, we have m myself, Tai, and we have Min, Huyen, Hui, and Guyen. All right. So this is the outline of the presentation today. We're going to touch on the, the scope of the constraint, the stakeholders, um, show you some of the exploration questions and some of the outcomes and how we measure the, the success and give you guys the um, the, our, uh, the the recommendations of our present uh, of our group presentation so first of all is the, the so how we come up with the problem statement so we sent out a little survey to our friends and families of 20 people um, to get the, the consensus of ambulance service in Ho Chi Minh City and um, not to our, uh, not to our surprise the majority of our friends and family don't ha uh, have very negative opinion about the, the public ambulance service in Ho Chi Minh City. So uh, we also asked them if they have ever heard of the Start 9999 or, or any other private emergency service providers and more than like ninety percent of them uh, have never heard, haven't heard of such service, um, and only one or two people only know Star Nine 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 when they see the ambulance on the street. So I, uh, we, so we, talk, uh, we show them a little information about the Star Nine 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 service, and we ask them if they, after reviewing the, uh, the the service, are they willing to try it and and almost every one of them agreed to do so. So that's, uh, so I, we think the problem here is the awareness of Star 999. And in this project, we will um, show you the solution how to improve the Star 9999 awareness. Next, Wing is going to introduce you the trigger questions and the scope. Uh, well, I will continue with the project scope. Uh, to define the project scope to based on some trivial questions. Mm -hmm. And the next slide, we will uh, come up with two pathways. Uh, the first one is choosing the suitable marketing strategy to approach the potential customer. Mm -hmm. And we focus on both digital and traditional marketing. For example, uh, we have to sponsor on social media such as uh, Facebook and Instagram. Uh, newspaper and magazine to increase the interaction with the customer or approach uh, closer to them. However, low uh, knowledge about the importance of ambulance service in Vietnam is the barrier uh, for us to get in this way um, because the citizens just uh, think of ambulance service in the transport stations. That is the reason why we create a workshop, campaign, and TV shows with the doctor. By doing so, uh, we not only raise brand awareness, but also uh, improve the emergency knowledge to the potential customer. And the second one is the being through journalists and ambulance service prototype to take the potential customer close to the ambulance service and let them uh, have their own experience or their own feeling. However, uh, lacking human resources and efficient knowledge, even so the restriction um, that's the reason why we're training and providing a reward to motivate them to join our program. But uh, it seems to be limited because we're not certain whether people want to join our training or not. Uh, that's the reason why um, marketing strategies is a feasible way to solve the problem statement. And the next slide will show um, uh, to optimize the marketing strategies. The scope of projects should be narrowed down to focus on foreign um, people in Vietnam, people in the employment age, and patients with underlying disease. Our family uh, have the elderly people and the people who are living alone, as well as 95% of baby boomers. So next, um, Nhật Minh will talk about the constraints. Uh, so the constraint is something that limits and controls on what we do. But um, we still can have, like, there's a lot of different uh, areas about the constraint that we can look on to improve based on the service. And um, 
uh, here we have we want to pay attention on the service constraint and we want to share that we want to share in case of building the trust of the brand stem. And here are three of them. The first one, we want to look at the collaborative logistic issues. A lot of people that don't trust in the local emergency service, such as 115, when the emergency scene happens, some people would bring the patient directly to the nearest hospital instead of calling 115. So um, star 999 in this case, can solve the problem and uh, allow to provide a rapid assessment to pre-arrival instruction to improve this outcome. Can you can you go to the next slide, please? <laughs> yeah, uh, next one, next one. And the second, we can look at the flexibility in healthcare solution. Uh, it is also very important that it helps reduce the ambulance response time by providing instruction by phone before the ambulance arrival. The ambulance also provided uh, by upgraded features by lots of advanced medical machines and saving the time in critical treatment to patients. Uh, therefore, this, our solution also helps to uh, want to improve the flexibility in healthcare to extend the brand's name both in quantitative and qualitative. Uh, and the third one we want to look on is the service quality. Um, it's also one of the points that Star 999 wants to maintain and improve. It's all about the service that one, we want to, people to trust and subscribe to the service. Yes. Yeah. Next, please. Um, so here's Ambers. It's one of the tools that uh, is it helped to process the thinking to develop the solution based on some constraint that we want our solution to uh, substitute the 115 and it helped combine by a lot of advanced medical machines in the vehicle and uh, we want to adapt uh, new services um, to help uh, fasten, like shorten the response time. And it also modify and put to another use like we want to bring the entire service directly to the place where the critical uh, case happened. And it helped eliminate um, some critical case like uh, improve um, the critical uh, moment of the patient. Yeah. So uh, Nhi's gonna take about, take over the stakeholders. Hi, I'm Queen. I'm gonna talk about the stakeholder in this part. We, uh, we we emphasize on the two factor external and internal one next slide please um, for the first one we focus on how may we improve the emergency ambulance service awareness for the stakeholder external stakeholder with a b2c customer the best way to approach them is through word of mouth or telling story and experience between families and relatives. With the B2B customer, we see them as business partner and um, business partner, and we think about collaborate with them for the corporate events or using the Start 99 service product as a student benefits or employees rewards. We can also collaborate with the insurance company to sell the Start 99 service as an included or add on products in the health informs. And uh, for the government, we, we, we think about is this a possible way to sponsor the standard line service for the politicians and the counselors or the expert and professor in medical industry because they are the influencers. They can recommend this, uh, the service to the others and we can also collaborate with them for like the internship or case study such as what Star 999 is doing with RMIT at the moment and with the marketing agency uh, that we go into work with them in the future or uh, at the moment we, we can run with them the campaign event especially KOLs is an effective tool in Vietnam or uh, running the road shows using the motorbike ambulance that tie we mentioned in as one of our solution in the next slide and with the internal factors the um, uh, we focus on how my internal stakeholder can help to improve the emergency ambulance services awareness. So um, the, stake, the internal stakeholder can help through the network events, profit through their professional relationships, or uh, with the help of investor resources. 
Next will be my partner, Thuy. Continue. Our group has listed six exploration questions uh, like you can uh, see in the slide. And the most important one should be like, where do the Stoner and I get the fund to do the marketing for their just new company in Vietnam? Next slide, please. So um, there are five outcomes that we expect. Their main expectation is uh, increasing the number of side contract with B2B customer and the number of uh, B2C subscriber. Besides that, we also expect to increase the ambulance quantity, social media follower, follower and the community awareness. Next slide, please. We also have the set the success metric, including like after one year, we will um, improve the citizen awareness, social media follower and subscriber with the exact or higher numbers like in this slide that you can see. And also the return on investment is 3-1. Next slide, please. So yeah, for the ideas, uh, we sat down together and brainstormed, um, uh, and we have very uh, a lot of interesting ideas. But today we will only present the three most interesting one: advertising on social media, or the uh, the graph platform, having workshop, or offer the motorbike ambulance. Um, so the um, so one the, the ambulance the motorbike ambulance is um, I think as we think the is the the most interesting solution to raise the awareness, um, we can use it to change change the perception of the the perception of the ambulance of Vietnamese people from like just the conventional ambulance to the motorbike. Um, motorbike ambulance is is low cost compared compared to the conventional ambulance. Um, it comes with own full of the medical equipment and um, ridden by the trained paramedics. So when a calls when a calls to the call center and the call center will deploy um, the motorbike ambulance during the rush hour or if the accident happened in the dance area. So this is obviously the the great solution uh, instead of the, just the conventional ambulance because the traffic in Vietnam. So we uh, we use so we use some of the journey maps to fully understand the um, to fully understand the stakeholders. And um, here are some of the how my week questions that we we brainstorm. So this solution, motorbike ambulance, we address some of the questions like how might we cut down the response time? How might we not use the conventional ambulance? or how might we um, operate the service in the dance area. So the targeted customers for this solution is, is based on the call, uh, call center dispatcher. Um, but uh, mo most important customer we uh, focus is the cardiac address patient because um, for this patient, time is uh, everything. So the shortest time to the accident will save their life. Um, some, some of the assumptions that we have here is when, because of the low cost investment, um, so the subscription fee will be lower, is so it appear more attractive to the customers and um, and is is uh, is doable since it requires less resources. Um, so, and with the the low cost investment, it, we can easily buy more motorbike ambulance in, uh, compared to the conventional ambulance, which is cost around like $60,000 per vehicle. And um, at the moment, there is no competition in the in the market. So we, we have the market for ourselves. Um, to test the, the assumption, um, to test the assumption, so after launching the prototype, uh, we will test the awareness rate of the, uh, of the subscri subscribers. Next, please, we're going to talk about the platform. So the next um, solution is collaborating with Grab. This solution target customer is the smartphone user in Vietnam because most of them have the Grab app and will be notified whenever a new service is available on the app. Um, because we assume that Stan and I can save in time for in finding customer and um, Customer can uh, save in time to get the nearest ambulance 
And also they can gain the more awareness when being partnered with Grab because Grab is a well-known technology company that provides a transportation service. Its execution standard and I should provide benefit in exchange with Grab uh, to get their agreement from them. Uh, like Grab is providing service, shut us car by food and mud. And if Grab is collaborating with Standard, they will be able to expand their position among other technology companies. In scalability, Standard and I can turn into the big scale national, nationwide and can be exclusively able to service that being partnered with Grab. This solution also answer the how many we question is how many we apply the technology to advertise the service. Because Nana and I is the new company in Vietnam, so it's necessary to make a reasonable policy to attract the customer. For example, like um, they can redeem the Grab reward points to have a discount on Nana and I subscription. So um, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to wind you up. You're going over time. So can you just bring us to a conclusion because we've also got people who are having to go to their next class now. So you've got 20 seconds to wind it up. Oh, okay. Uh, Nina, can you, can you take over there? So, okay, so you're going to be proposing some workshops to... Okay, yeah, so we're going to uh, have the workshop at the corporate. Yep. And, uh, yeah, and um, so we work with corporates to, to have the workshop at their corporations. So um, the assumption here is the, the value. Uh, so the, the workshop already uh, will agree to partner with us. And... Um, they, and we'll focus on the, the three districts, District 1, 3, and Bintan. And um, another assumption is that there will be a weekly workshop at the, the organization. So, um, okay. so yeah, that, that's for our presentation today. Um, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Sorry, it's hard when somebody interrupts you and makes you move on. But again, no. that happens. No, that no. happens in the real world. So we have to manage our time. Uh -huh. And some right. 